This is just an image I drew. I titled this little talk From Walls to Walkways, D-I-W-O-D, and Open Source Everything, Syncretic Methods for Exploring Consciousness. Uh, D-I-W-O-D is sort of uh, an infraction of an infraction of an infraction from D-I-Y, which is uh, do it yourself and then do it with others and then do it with other disciplines. So to some degree, I'm going to be talking a little bit about that today. Uh, in addition to serving as a professor at Gallaudet, I'm a PH PhD candidate in the Planetary Collegium through the University of Plymouth, where um, investigating ways in which to model consciousness possibly straying a bit from David Chalmers' functioning class of the empirical theory of consciousness, um, and jumping ahead, but, but also comfortably sitting within that, uh, what Pribram, Hameroff, Laszlo, Schmidt, Robert John, and Pear Labs modeled as the zero point, zero point consciousness field captured and possibly singularized by the mind or brain. I'm beginning to like the metaphor that art practice could be seen as a process or mechanism to silence thought as Jiddu Krishnamurti Krishna and David Boehm discuss, serves as the prerequisite for an accessing and channeling consciousness. Originating in the Vedas and found today in the Ayurvedic medicine, pure consciousness is seen as an abstract, silent, completely unified field of consciousness within an architecture of increasingly abstract, functionally integrated faculties or levels of mind. Aside from my recent investigation in Paphania and uh, Periodelia, the process of identifying meaning, meaningful patterns in a sea of noise. There are many different theories that investigate what it is to be conscious. However, consciousness still seems to evade definition and limitation. Playing along with the ideas of a prominent Western physicist and an Eastern philosopher, one might infer that if silence is a lens for consciousness, then creative action might serve as a thought muffler and focusing on materiality, a channel for silencing the mind. Art, as any form of expression, fundamentally concerns itself with the realization or embodiment of thoughts, glimmers of consciousness through a medium existing in space-time. Art has predominantly been an interactive interface in that it relies on human perception to complete that experience. Art has predominantly been virtual since artwork always seems to represent a thought or consciousness glimmer as primary when compared to its actual physical utilitarian counterpart. Artificial intelligence and interactive art poses a grand realignment and re range of possibility in regards to this metaphoric consciousness glimmer, generating artworks that embody a mind and think. Interactive art invites users or viewers to become active, engaged participants communicating with art systems through the broadest range of gestural activity. The practice of making art really is both a recombinatory investigation in materiality and a process of forming that materiality into a vessel to store thought. I don't really have enough time to talk about my own upbringing and background, but um, I will tell you that I was two courses short from finishing a degree in biology when I switched to fine art and um, to pursue a degree in painting and drawing. Um, what, what was it, you might ask, um, that motivated me to change um, such a drastic career change was uh, conflict. I was interested in finding the origination of conflict, how one person identified another as being wrong, bad, different, or less valuable. The more I reflected on conflict, the more I realized it was full of subjectivity, ambiguity, interpretation, and perception, perceptions that were based on mental constructions that in some cases may have taken years to develop. In some cases, conflict can arise without any form of intentional communication and at times may emerge as a result of mere unintentional or unconscious gesture. I wonder that if conflict emerged from a world of perceptions, then could it be resolved motivating cooperative ideologies through that same perceptual format, lens, or language? I'm going to show you a few works that, um, that seek to capture human consciousness in some um, through the form of gesture and, um, and identify that within the context of, uh, of a technical system. So the first piece is a, a seesaw on a scoreboard, which um, was also my the MFA thesis project. It invite, invited users to engage with one another through the paired binary interfaces of a simple cooperative interface, a seesaw and a competitive one, a scoreboard, 
to investigate whether viewers, users gravitated towards cooperative or competitive behavior within a constructed performative environment. Since these two familiar interfaces were selected and altered to be responsive and interactive, behaviors were customized to allow users to, the freedom to decide whether or not to cooperate. The way it worked was when a user was in squatting position, the, their seesaw, on the seesaw, their points increased and triggered voices of children on the playground cheering from a respective audio speaker. When users found themselves helplessly suspended in the air, their points decreased at a slower rate, and voices of similar children yelling taunts could be heard. The number at the top of the screen was the time of day, and the bottom was the time of the performance or installation. This is good. Have you slide all over? This project em embodied full body gesture, or full form gesture, as an input to the system. From that point, uh, I started to investigate um, cooperation. I had uh, developed a, a number of pieces that investigated conflict. And um, to counterpose or counterposition that, I, I developed a, a series of pieces that investigated cooperation and um, the ways that people behaved within a, a, an environment that um, motivated that behavior. SpinFlick uh, was an interface that extended the viewer's simple gesture by flicking a coin into an expanded room uh, flicking a coin to uh, expand in a, in a room size real time encoded animated light gesture. SpinFlict incorporated two light sensitive surfaces constructed from two arrays of 500 photoresistors, coins um, for spinning, 10 microcontrollers for each um, platform, and around 100 shared DC lights to create an abstract time based gesture narrative from the directional path created from flicking a coin.